to make a three note chord or a triad out of any note in the major scale. So we know our major scale is C to C on the white keys only. Go one and then two, skip two, go to three, skip three, go to five. That's our triad or chord of C. As we started from C, skip two, go to three, skip four, go to five. One, three, five. One, three, five. Now, if you have the stretch, add back in the high one of the octave. C, E, G, C. Now, let's just think about the three notes for the moment, the triad. So, one, two, three. Now, I did the same from D, and I got a minor chord. From any note I start, I'll get a chord. That's how we build a triad. One, three, five from any note. One, three, five. One, three, five. One, three, five. So. So something to practice. You'll make up a progression. We go from C. So remember the names of our notes, okay? So C, D, E, F, G, A. So what you're looking at is for your primary chords C, F, G. And then your relative minor is A minor from here. So you can play a progression. Again, a very, very, very popular progression. Going from chord number one, C, to chord number four, which is F, Making my triad again, up to six, which is A minor, a relative minor, and then back down to G. Now, that, for example, you could sing um, Shotgun by George Ezra over that. Homegrown alligator, see you later, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. There's thousands of songs I can go over that. So, to play that, to get used to changing, just simple chord changes. I'm just going to do it a few more times so you can watch it. C, F, A, G. C, F, A minor, G. Now, after you have the triads and you're used to them, maybe try to do what's called a broken chord, where instead of playing the chords, the notes all together, you do like an arpeggio, or you break them up. One, two, three. Okay, so same progression again. So C. One, two, three. F. A minor. Now. So there are a couple of exercises. So let's just go over again. So you've got your major scale. And back down. Okay. You've got your chords. Your one, three, five shape. For many notes to make up your chord. And then you've got a broken chord version of that.
So give it a try. It's just a simple um, series of exercises that can really help you get your hands moving, get your hands on the board. Um, that, we won't forget about our left hand. This is for right hand. What we're going to do in the next video is I'll talk about maybe the left hand and how we put them together. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. Uh, talk soon. Be safe.